Hello everyone, with the Jamaica here. It is Friday morning, November 17, 2023. Welcome to this early morning update on what's happening across Jamaica in terms of the weather. So we can see that we have a lot of deep convection associated with potential tropical cyclone number 22 across the island as we speak and there's a lot more to come. We've been definitely getting nailed, especially across sections of some southern and eastern parishes all of Thursday night into early Friday morning and we can see on the rainbow satellite images as well as the infrared satellite images that show the sparkling white that's represent one amount of lightning flashes if not lightning strikes that there's still a lot more heavy weather to come and to confirm all of the rainfall that we had last night we take a look at our Twitter page with the post that was made highlighting the infrared satellite images showing all the clouds bring some thunderstorm activity to section to some southern and eastern parishes and we even had some of our commenters confirming the, the rainfall on our Twitter page. Keep in mind that we don't only make this post on our Twitter page, but our Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok page. From Muncha is stating it a washway in St. Andrew. Sean currently experiencing heavy rain at my location in Spanish Town. Kelly Blair, Poland rain washing us out. Rained all night heaviest the last hour. Chirpy, it is lashing us in Meadowbrook Estate at the moment. And on our Instagram page, we have God's favorite daughter, Kingston 11. Nice. <laughs> Raining. Happy birthday to me. Another commenter. The rain is wet in my area. Queenie Gray, Portland wet. Anipool, heavy rains in St. Anne. That's all courtesy of this potential tropical cyclone number 22. Yesterday, the system was predicted to possibly make it a tropical storm status before it makes it across Jamaica. I guess it hasn't gotten the chance to develop enough because the hurricane center as of 4 a.m. this morning now states that it is expected to cross Jamaica as a D and we know the D represents tropical depression so we can still see that its center is still off to the southwest of Jamaica even although we have majority of the heaviest weather associated with the system off to the south and east of there and we can also see that as it relates to the tropical storm force winds in the green jamaica entirely is going to be affected by these tropical storm force winds and the probability are at about five the darker greens represent at about five especially considering that the system isn't going to be developing into a tropical storm before it hits us however regardless of development we're still in for a lot of rainfall Look at this, 7 a.m. yellows and reds from the Euro model, 1 p.m. something similar, greens, yellows, reds. And then finally, by about 12 zian Saturday, when we calculate that it's about 7 a.m., we start to see some breaks in it, some whites represent little to no rainfall, maybe some sunshine peeking out, and isolated pockets of greens that represent rainfall across sections of the island. So maybe some isolated showers still to come. What does the GFS show for the same time period? Alright, so we just looked at the Z or Z run, that's the midnight run of the Euro model. Now we're looking at the 6 a.m. run that just came out an hour ago for the GFS. So we can see that the GFS is still showing a lot of reds and yellows across the island as we speak, and there's a lot more of that to come. 1 p.m. on Friday still has a lot of heavy rainfall. And finally, by around 12 zero on Saturday, we're starting to see something similar to what the Euro model is showing. Some wet, some break in the rainfall, maybe some sunshine trying to peek out. Then we have some green surrounding the island. Maybe some isolated pockets of rainfall still to come in at some spots. So all of the heavy rainfall should be out by Saturday morning. And we can see that the models are predicting that it should cross over Jamaica or to across western Jamaica especially. And we see the blues that represent tropical depression status not much greens that represent tropical storm status at all we see some yellows maybe some hurricane status being forecasted to the north the far north of the northeastern caribbean and we also see that on the cyclone intensity model guidance we don't see the system making it into tropical storm status within the next 24 hours majority of these models keep it at bay at whatever intensity it is currently at 
and switching gears taking a look at the infrared satellite images we, we have a lot of satellite images we love to look at these very colorful the rainbow loop the infrared satellite images the lightning flashes then the satellite images that we're used to from back in the day on the weather from our own local TV and it's all showing the same thing a lot of deep convection if we reload the images especially after the east and the south of the island lots of conviction more to come what about the cuban doppler radar images because we know that we can have cloud cover around here like what we're having right now especially across the west and we're not necessarily getting rainfall and we're not really getting rainfall right now across the central and western areas but it, there's definitely a lot more to come we can see sections of western west Milan starting to get in on some more rainfall again coming from the southwest we can see a lot of rainfall to the south of the island right now that's definitely to come. We know the rainfalls are represented by the greens and the yellows that represent light to moderate or even heavy rainfall. I'm definitely getting some rainfall in my portion of St. Thomas as we speak. And there's a lot more rainfall to come throughout today. And flash flooding is definitely going to be a possibility. Look at these rainfall totals that are expected still to come. Keep in mind that both of these models from the year and the GFS are showing all the rainfall that's suspected from now up until 10 p.m. on Friday. And we still have a lot to come. It's been raining last night into this morning. It's still raining now. And there's still a lot more to come within the next 12 to 36 or the next 12 to 24 hours. So we can see the yellows. The oranges, the reds, the burgundies, the purples still represent some amount of heavy, tremendous rainfall totals. So this is going to be spread out from now up until 10 p.m. on Friday. I think that we're going to be getting a lot of rainfall at once. It's just going to be spread out. A lot of rainfall is expected. And we know that flash flooding is definitely a possibility. So here we have some tips. Avoid areas subject to sudden flooding. Do not go swimming or boating in swollen rivers. Do not attempt to cross rivers or flowing streams where water is above the knee. Eat only well-cooked food. Protect leftovers against contamination. Be aware of water-covered roads and bridges. Drink clean or preferably boiled water only. So, try to stay safe. We're still under a tropical storm. Watch, even although the system is now not predicted to become a tropical storm or we could get in on some of the conditions who knows it might just rapidly intensify before it hits us so <laughs> let's prepare get ready for all the heavy rainfall that comes with today all right so that's it for now i'll be back with an afternoon update later on thanks for watching